Hey everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In this video we're going to be talking about Cinnabar. I recently found a really pretty bracelet in a haul that I got and I wanted to list it but I wasn't sure how I was going to describe this accurately. I needed to make sure that if I called it Cinnabar that it really was what I was calling it. So I wanted to be accurate and so that led me down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out what exactly Cinnabar is and how to tell real cinnabar from reproduction or fake cinnabar. So before we get started, go down there and hit the thumbs up button. And if you are a jewelry seller or you're just thinking about selling jewelry, we would love to have you come and join us over on Facebook in my group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. Now, this is a compilation of all the research I have done over the last few weeks trying to be able to describe this bracelet accurately. So as I'm giving the information, if you've got more information about Cinnabar that you would like to share, please leave a comment down below. I always strive to give the most accurate information possible, and so I really dug deep on this one to try to find out everything I could about Cinnabar, but I'm sure there's lots of things out there that I missed. So if you do know something or if you wanted to find out more, then please check the comment section for the different things that people are suggesting we look at and what kind of tips they're giving everybody. Let's take a look at the bracelet that I've got a little bit more up close. So here I've taken some pictures of the carvings. You can kind of see where there's some carving marks over here and I didn't get as good pictures of the lines um, which I'll get to in just a minute but I have some that I will show you that I will be adding to these. So I just wanted to give you a quick view of the bracelet so you can see just in case you come across something similar. I'm noticing that it's kind of a darker red. Um, as I was listing it I started noticing some of these black splotches or little what I started calling freckles on it, little spots. So let's dive into this. What is cinnabar? A lot of people see this red carved lacquered resin and just say cinnabar because it's red and it's carved. But technically, cinnabar is the color that's used to create this lacquered piece of jewelry or lacquerware if it's on a piece of art or a vase or something like that. But the process for creating these lacquered carved pieces started, I can't remember the exact year, but in China centuries ago and they would take the sap of this tree and they would color it with carbon if they were going to make it black they would use cinnabar which is another mint, uh, mineral to color it red and then what they would do with that was they would take a base piece maybe out of wood later out of metal and they would paint this lacquer on to the piece and they would wait for it to dry and I think it said it took days for this to dry for one layer and then they would come and paint on another layer wait for it to dry and they would do this until they got the uh, desired thickness of the lacquer and then they would carve into it to create the different shapes so it was very very time consuming very labor intensive and so that's one of the things when we get to looking at what cinnabar is and how to tell if you've got cinnabar is looking to see can you see those layers now, later, there was a, and I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm not even going to try. Um, I'll pop it up here in just a second. There was another method for making what was cinnabar, um, but instead of taking like the wooden piece or the metal, they would carve, um, instead of taking that and then and painting it on layer after layer after layer, they would take a wooden piece and they would carve into the wooden piece and then they would paint on one or a few layers of the lacquer instead of the many, many, many layers that they um, would originally do for the true lacquerware that was made. So that was a lot less labor intensive, it was much faster, um, so that was another thing that was done. So what gives cinnabar that red color? And this is another thing that I found out as I was learning about this. The mineral in cinnabar that gives it the red color that it has is mercury. So a lot of people are, say that cinnabar, true cinnabar is kind of dangerous because it actually has mercury in it. Yeah, like the mercury from a thermometer that causes brain damage and all kinds of crazy stuff. So true, true, true cinnabar has mercury in it. All right, you found something that you think might be cinnabar. How do you tell if it is real cinnabar or if it is a reproduction or if it is a fake? Now, this can get kind of tricky. So what I read was that one, real cinnabar is going to have those layers that's, that's been 
um, painted on and let to dry and then carved into it. So you might have to use a jeweler's loop and I really had to zoom in on this to get a good view of that of the cut part so you could really see those layers in there. You can see the carving marks, you can see the layers. Um, so one, it's going to have layers. If you've got something that's just um, totally smooth and flat, then it's probably not going to be really cinnabar. So the next thing is, if you've got a piece that is a molded resin, um, like it's been pouring, poured into a mold, um, a lot of times you'll see little air bubbles where the air has escaped and so there'll be like little pits or pock marks, little tiny air bubble holes. Um, so true cinnabar is not going to have that. Not only will cinnabar not have air holes, it will also not have any kind of seam or mold mark. So, um, for example, if it was poured into a mold, sometimes the plastic will have a, a seam on it. So it won't have that and it won't have air bubbles. Another way to test for cinnabar is a little bit iffy to use because it can damage the piece. And that's getting a Q-tip and some nail polish remover and finding an inconspicuous spot on the piece and rubbing. If the piece discolors the Q-tip, then you've got cinnabar. So let's take a look at my piece and see what we think. And then there were a few things that I noticed that I couldn't find any information on, so I weren't, wasn't sure if they were notify, like uh, identifiers or not. So again, if you've got any extra information for me, I would love to hear it. So this is the piece, again, this is up close. I can see a little spot here that's like it's been chipped. And then I see, you know, all of these layers. Um, the part that I wasn't sure about is that mine had these like black freckles. So um, again, I did try the nail polish remover and mine did discolor it. So my, my thought process was, one, I, I think it's probably maybe cinnabar, unless I find out any other information from what my research could um, find. Two, I don't know like some of the reproduction. Do I think this is like ancient antique cinnabar? Absolutely not. Um, but is there something else that has been used? Um, I think I read something about vermilion, and so I need to do a little more digging in that direction because so far it's shown all the signs for cinnabar, but again, I don't want to, to mislead anybody. Some more of the little black spots that I wasn't sure about. The reason I bring up the black spots is because when I was doing my research and looking at the actual mineral of cinnabar and what it looks like, it has some black speckles in it. However, I know that when they create the cinnabar piece and mix the the mineral with the, the sap, it's going to be ground into a powder. So I'm not sure about that. Um, but then I also read about cinnabar getting darker and blackening in the sunlight. So it has to be really... Um, contained against the sunlight and UV rays and um, so it shouldn't get a lot of it true cinnabar can can become discolored or darker um, then this was another thing when I was looking at the inside I could see where there was remember how I said it's like wood or metal and then they build the layers up on top of that so this has got that metal inside you can see it better here it has that metal piece and then you can see where the red has been placed on top of it like so and then the the finish you know the hinge has been pressed into it there um so you can see that on there and then the red so again that leads me to believe more that maybe it is closer to being a cinnabar like again I still hesitate to say yes for sure because I just want to make sure because it really can affect the price I mean the I saw one that looked exactly like mine that said it was cinnabar tested it everything and they sold it for eighteen dollars but I think if it really is cinnabar it's worth way more than that um, so let me show you real quick my blog post so that if you come across it on the, the interweb that you'll know that this is where all my information is. So here's my website. I wanted to share with you guys the article that I put up, the blog post, um, and all the information that I shared in the video and where I got my information. Again, if anybody has any extra information or any other sites that I should check out, then please let me know because I can go in and update this because I want to have the most accurate information out there. And down at the very bottom, I shared all the links that I went and got my information from. So what is Cinnabar? 
um, testing real or fake or telling real from fake um, and then about cinnabars getting darker and then I also linked a few fun videos and then this one's really interesting it's the arts in the city and it's I think it's the Met um, and it talks about their whole collection it's very interesting I'm going to link my website and the post that I created down below so again if anybody has any extra information that I can use to update the site or any links or other websites that I should check out please let me know because I want to make sure that I am sharing the most accurate information possible again I would love to have you come and join us over in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures and if you haven't already I would love to have you subscribe go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little thumb or the little bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. I like to share haul videos, informational videos, all about jewelry usually and other ways to make money from home. So thanks so much for coming to check this out and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everybody.